kind of come up over a lot of calls and, you know, we've touched on it here and there, but I want to give a little bit of a, a sort of a structure to it. And that is, um, as an adult, okay, as an adult, um, you have parents oftentimes still, right? And not only, if you're married, not only do you have parents, you have parents and parents, because now you've got two sets, right? There's a family you married into. And one of the things that we continually hear, you know, throughout the show here and there are, you know, callers from that there are these difficulties. How do you deal with your parents um, as an adult? You know, what, what's okay to do? What's not okay to do? What do you do when they're really hurting you? What do you, et cetera, et cetera. And so I just wanted to just give a few thoughts about that. Obviously there's a lot to talk about in here. But let me start out by talking about you for a second. As you go into this space um, called the adult child, really, which is an oxymoron. If, you, if you've heard me say those words don't go together. But here's, here's kind of the, the place you have to begin. You have to begin here. If you are going to have a good relationship, the best relationship possible, with your parents as an adult. And that is that we ourselves, I'll put me in this category now, both of my parents uh, passed away um, in 2008. I lost both of them within weeks of each other. They were way older because I was an oops, um, well into their, you know, they, they were in their forties when I was born. I was kind of a surprise, but I, remember being an adult with parents. So, you know, I can speak to me and how I did it and what I had to negotiate and struggle with too. So as an adult, the first thing you have to do is you have to look at yourself. And if you are going to have a good relationship with your parents in adulthood, the first requirement is that you must be an adult. Okay. Because you can almost say that 1,346% <laughs> kidding of our struggles with, a, with as an adult with parents some way have a dynamic of some kind of unresolved dependency in us because an adult by definition is not a person who is dependent on his or her parents okay so that's emotionally physically financially spiritually every other U-L-L-Y, that goes in the book. See, an adult is somebody that is what, what the Bible calls and psychology calls mature, right? And the word for mature actually means ripe. It means complete, okay? It's supposed to be ready to do a bunch of stuff when something is mature and ripe. And certainly negotiating your life without help from parents. Now, I did not say that we can't or shouldn't get help from parents. What I said was we can't be dependent on it. And that gets to three major words. And I want you to look at these words and ask yourself, as an adult in relation to your parents, to what degree are your parents it's still one of these three things. Number one, that they are the source of life sustenance to you. See, when we're kids, we can't get stuff we need without our parents sourcing us. So food, money, shelter, knowledge, even friends, right? They, bring, they put the play dates together. All of that stuff, it, we have to reach out to our parents to get what we need, source. Number two, one of my favorite Bible verses talks about this in Galatians 4. It says, when we were children, we were under parents, see the under dynamic, until the date set forth by the father. Now you talk about it like a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah in the Jewish traditions or, you know, 
rites of passage and every other culture, but there's some day where you go boom, and now you son or you daughter, now you're one of us, you're one of the big people. But it says, as long as we were under them, it says we were under them as guardians and managers, guardians and managers. So they source us, but then they guard us, they protect us. They tell us what we can't do, right? And they tell us what we can't not do. Because remember, a good parent guards their child from two things in relation to themselves. They protect them from, number one, trying to go into areas they're not mature enough to handle. Don't do that. Don't taste that. Don't drink that. Don't smoke that. Don't, you know, read that. Don't look at that. You can't play with them. There's a protection of the child wanting to do more than they are able to handle. The other guarding is guarding against a regression for them to not step up and do the things that they should be able to handle. So you want to drop them off to school and they cry and wail and all of that. And ah, well, a good parent doesn't give in to a regressive dependency and they say, no, you're going to go to school, have a nice day, bye. And they drive off. So there's a guarding us from wanting to be more than we are and refusing to be how much we should be at any given moment. There's the guardian. The manager is the one that controls the resources, right? And the rewards and the consequences and the, the uh, what would you call it? The empowering development. What does a manager have to do to get somebody to perform well? They, they develop them, they coach them, they send them to training. They make sure, see that's all part of the management into maturity. So that's another thing parents do. All right, so let's roll it back. If we're going to an adult parent, or if we're going to a parent as an adult, but we're needing, this is where dependent comes in. We need, oh, what if they cut me off? Oh, what if I don't get that little help financially? What, you know, they're my source. Or what if I don't listen to them telling me you can't do that? You know, what, am I really free to say no to their direction? or they're managing my life. See, if we're in conflict and we're afraid to say no to any of those because we're dependent on approval or we're dependent on emotional resources or financial resources or just them not being mad or whatever it is, then by definition, we are not adults. And so only a free adult can deal with and here's the goal, love and make a return to your parents. See, what the, the, the thing flips here, right? There's another verse in the New Testament that says, you know, charity, taking care of family, that begins at home. And, you know, with, with elderly parents that, that there, we shouldn't have to depend on some other safety net if there is one at home. So children should make a return, it says, and take care of them. All right, so here's the deal. Elderly parents sometimes need for, want you to do stuff, right? Or not even elderly. Well, you got to be the one that decides how. And are you really free to say, because you're, they're not going to control you and this, that, and the other, are you free to say, hey, come in, move in with us? A lot of people do that because they're free and they're not worried about being micro parented if the mother in law lives upstairs or dad or somebody else they're free other people that would be the most traumatic thing ever but can you say no to the way the parent wants it are you free to pick your yes and no and say you know what we we can't really or can't even live in the same town mom or dad but what we can do and choose ways that we're going to take care of them. Now let's get into the more common stuff, which is calls we get about. You know, wh what are you gonna do if they don't like the way you're raising your kids? What are you gonna do if they don't like your faith or your expression of faith? What are you gonna do if they don't like the way that you, you know, like are, are playing the family politics or whatever? We can only deal with those well and choose how we're gonna give if we're really adults. Then you can return to your parents and you 
and say what you hear me say a lot of times in, in these situations. Mom, Dad, I love you, and I really want a good relationship with you, and I want my kids to have a good relationship with their grandparents. Now, from our side, here's what we need from you, and here's what we're willing to do, and here's what we're not willing to do. We got a lot of stuff going on. You know, this you know, we can visit this many times, maybe a month or a year or whatever it is. That's what we can do. What, what would you like? And two people talk about this, but you'll never be able to do that if you have unresolved dependencies and needs for approval or needs for revenge or anything like that. We got to be free in order to do this well.